Chase Dog with the Blue Futon. Another review in the Netflix world is Hashtag Alive. It's another South Korean movie. Is it good? It's another zombie one. Is it ho-hum? Good? Survive? Die? Let's find out. So Hashtag Alive, what's it about? First off, I think the movie should have been called Hashtag I Must Survive. I think that's a better title, and that was kind of the theme of this story of hashtag I must survive, especially with this character and what his mom and dad told him over the phone and everything like that. But that's another side of the story. But what's this about? It's kind of a centralized story in an apartment complex of this guy who has to survive and survive the ha zombie horde who's downstairs in the hallways. And halfway through, he meets a girl across the way who's also surviving about this 15 day mark. And they realize the eighth floor is empty. If we get to the eighth floor, there might be more food, more shelter. That harder time for the zombies to come up, so let's go to the 8th floor. But something happens on the 8th floor, and are they going to survive? Are they not going to survive? Let's find out. So what did I like about this movie? I thought this movie, with the central premise of surviving, figuring out what these zombies are, it is also it's a fun movie that way of, are these characters going to survive? Like I said, I'm, I am a sucker for these centralized stories of like, apartment, one place, one story, Let's do it. How are you going to survive? How are you going to get more food? How are you going to get water and everything like that? And then expanding it to another person across the way and then to upstairs. I do enjoy that aspect of we're keeping a centralized location. Keep it there. Done kind of like 7,500 came out this year and lock. And the only one I didn't like was Buried with Ryan Reynolds. To me, that was very overrated, but that's just another story. Another movie, in my opinion, we're not going to talk about. But anyway, hashtag live. Good gore. Good story, good characters. Um, other than that, it was a good movie. I mean, some character choices were very dumb. I'll put it that way. And you're just like, a person just got hit with the table. That's not going to knock you out. Kind of silly that way. And then the main guy, he does some really stupid stuff as well. You're just like, what are we doing? Like, first you want to survive. You're listening to your parents' story, but then you just do this stupid thing. You're like, what? What's what? What are we trying to do here? Uh. But yeah, done character choices. It was over long. It didn't need to be about the hour, 40, hour, 50 minute range. You could have took off 10 minutes. It still would have been a good movie. It still is a good movie, but you've seen it before. This is one you've totally seen before. There's nothing special. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a really quick review because it's literally apartment complex, three characters, zombies, survive. That's really all you have to do in this show they really don't explain though how these zombies occur they just kind of say like there's maybe a biochemical thing and how it's only 50,000 people which i find very fascinating only 50,000 people in seoul got infected uh that's very interesting i really think that's inflated or unflated or should be higher in number. i don't know what i'm trying to say higher in number than 50,000 i feel like with these they're not they're not slow zombies they're pretty fast they know how to climb ropes they know how to do, like, kind of stuff, so you're like, these aren't the dumb zombies you've seen in Night of the Living Dead or Dawn. Well, Dawn of the Dead are kind of smart, but, you know, the old George A. Romano movies are the Walking Dead ones where they're just slow walking ones. Now, these are fast-paced, kind of like Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead, a little bit smarter, so you're like, I expect more than 50,000. And like I said before, you've seen it before, some of the character choices are pretty dumb. But it is a fun movie of I did enjoy what I was watching because it literally starts. When I say you're five minutes in, but then it drags. Don't, eh, I'm repeating myself now. So let's just give you the score, guys. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag alive, which it should be hashtag I must survive, will receive a three out of five with futons. He was at 60%. So let's see the critics new scores gave this one. So you have critics at 87% with 15 of them, and the audience score is 61% with two six. 84 with no critic consensus yeah i mean i'm giving it a positive but same with the audience but with the 61 i'm the same way 60 so 60 61 87 chase out the blue futon like comment subscribe one of the things blue Town, topi blue tone just thank watch have a great day peace and love peace and love and yes i still gotta do the x-men stuff i got three more out of the wall i gotta do i'm halfway through the devil must be inside that tom holland robert pass netflix one so i'm trying guys i really am bill and ted of uh, Ghost of War. I'm really trying. I really am.